Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm just going to do uh, 5 tips for beginners because I have, I've done one to get better at Descenders and these are just tips for beginners to make sure they survive um, and keep playing the game so they enjoy it a bit more because if you're surviving, you're playing and you're enjoying it basically. So yeah, tip number one. So for the first tip uh, is literally just wash jump speeds. So for the highlands you want to be doing about 40 miles an hour when you go to the ramp and literally you don't even need to jump, you'll go straight over, land on the other side completely fine. For the forest you want to be doing around about 43 miles an hour to land on the top like this um, and around 46 to clear it really. Um, 45 will do probably as well and you'll probably just be fine. Uh, you shouldn't die, you should be pretty safe. For the canyons you want to be doing about 45 miles an hour again you could go faster it's really just whether you land it or not this one with a little bunny hop you can like land roughly on the edge and you should be fine and that makes it easy for the canyons the uh peaks one it's a bit different it's kind of a weird one you want to sort of you could there's two ways of doing it you can pl completely clear the helicopter which is pretty hard and i'm not entirely what speed sure what speed you should be doing this at but for this one i got around 48 49 miles an hour to go off the first ramp to maybe land in the transition a bit better it should make it easier for you to jump over all those ramps uh, i hope this one helped for tip number two as this is for beginners uh, basically what you want to do is uh, although points mean prizes uh, choose your lives over your points so don't try and go be adventurous especially for beginners with points don't try and like literally farm out points on the highlands and stuff like that it's really not worth it because uh, there's way more efficient ways of farming points and just getting points in general or rep um, but yeah so what you want to do is literally just conserve your lives make sure you get to the end really because what you want to be aiming for is to do a full uh, highlands to peaks run in one go and you want to do that with as many lives as you need uh, as long as you've got lives to make it to the end and uh, that will unlock the desert area for you or career plus as it's called and uh, the desert is the best place for you to farm so if you want to go and farm to there or I suppose you could call it farming just going from the highlands to the peaks and once you got there you can use the desert to farm all you like for tip number three, basically there's, um, yeah, the desert is for farming. Farming on the desert is much easier and it will say, it will literally save you so many lives because it's a very clear open space. It's very easy to get tricks done because you literally do it off of any hump. It's really easily done and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult for you. Three kind of blends with two, but you know, it is a separate comment, I suppose. But yeah, uh, that's tip number three. For tip number four, really all you want to be doing is going from the highlands to the peaks will get you a nice set of clothing. Because I know that a lot of beginners really want cool clothes, cool bikes and stuff like that. And that's what they're really aiming for. And uh, to get a nice cool set, which is, I'll uh, show it to you now. So these are the clothes here. There's uh, a regular Descenders helmet, a legendary one and the master one. Uh, they're like a different shades of rainbow or gold or whatever you want to call it. And it's a cool nice full outfit. For beginners to wear it looks pretty cool it shows you that you have skill and um they are overall pretty nice if you want to rep the rainbow one rep the rainbow one the gold one does look very cool and so does the purple one the purple one you only need to do the peaks and that's it uh to get the purple one so tip number five five is so important because it makes it so much easier on yourself there are rankings to the little team members that you get and s tier god of all the best one ever is harder impact. Taking a harder impact will save your life more than you think. For beginners, also uh, the heavy bail one, that's really useful for you guys because I know you're going to be sending it at full speed, not caring, and you're going to crash, lose your two lives, and that's two lives gone. But with the heavy bail threshold, you only lose one, and that's pretty good for you. And basically, it's very key to get, just try and get some, at least some rep. Don't go out your way to get rep to see if you could get it but get a team member and definitely over above everything else click on the take heavy impact one because that is so much better for you and it will literally help you so much it is definitely worth it and um yeah basically that's all i have to say i hope these tips are uh, helped you out because these are tips that not many people 
uh, for especially beginners know and I know beginners want to find out videos to learn some tips so I thought I'd make a, another one for you because I have one already but it's not really aimed at beginners it's just getting better at descenders in general if you want to go watch that one please do um, yeah uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video uh, if you haven't already joined the discord link is down below in the description uh, like and comment and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you a lot later goodbye